And almost immediately following the verdict, cheers erupted at Collect Pond Park. That's the park right across from the courthouse. And it didn't take long for others to weigh in as well. A fury from top Republican lawmakers, including Speaker Mike Johnson, who called it a, quote, shameful day in American history. President Biden's campaign said, quote, no one is above the law. ABC's M. Wynn in D.C. this afternoon, staying on top of it all. M. Mike, Sandra, good afternoon. Yeah, this unprecedented conviction of a former president who is again seeking the White House has thrown a new wrench in predictions for the November rematch. In the wake of Donald Trump's historic conviction, the former president speaking out. This is a, a case where if they can do this to me, they can do this to anyone. This as President Joe Biden's campaign is taking aim at the convicted former president saying no one is above the law. He should be treated like everyone else. Biden's team careful not to feed into Trump's baseless narrative that the president orchestrated this, though his campaign is calling to attention what's at stake, saying Trump still has a chance at the presidency in November. Donald Trump is stronger now than he was at the start of the trial. But that could soon change, according to an ABC News Ipsos poll from two weeks ago. We saw 80 percent of Trump's supporters say they would continue to support him no matter what. But that's another 20 percent total that would either reconsider or withdraw their support based on a conviction in an election this close. Everything can matter. This clearly could be a huge development. Trump's campaign quickly fundraising off of how he was found guilty on 34 criminal counts of falsifying business records to conceal hush money payments ahead of the 2016 election. We're angry, but we're, we're also happy in a way. Because you know what? My president's got street credit now. This as Republicans rush to defend the president. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell claiming these charges never should have been brought in the first place. I expect the conviction to be overturned on appeal. We have confidence in our high courts. President Joe Biden has yet to weigh in himself. Now, Trump will continue campaigning as a convicted felon and faces up to four years in prison when he's sentenced. July 11th. In Washington, M. Wynn, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. And thank you very much. Stay with Eyewitness News and ABC News as we continue to cover former President Trump's felony conviction. The latest is always online at ABC7NY.